Peter, please don't be hyperdramatic. I've been preparing for months. I've made so many wedding plans for you and Collins. It was never definite. He didn't even ask me. He asked you, Mother. Shut up, young lady. Just sit down and zip your lip. You are engaged to Collins Hedsworth. Did you know she's engaged to Collins Hedgeworth? I never said I would marry Collins. Uh, sir, I realize that there is some conflict. Oh. He realizes there's a conflict. <laughs> You're the conflict, Charlie. Mr. Powers, we're in love. And we want to get married. And I just felt that you ought to be invited to the wedding. That's all. Get out of my mansion. Why don't you wait for me in the car? Get off my estate. Sir, I think we should try and keep things in perspective and be open-minded about this. Get this fortune hunter out. Get him out! All right, now, wait a minute. Yeah, I am not a fortune hunter. Well, let me tell you something. I don't care anything about your money. Sir, your money doesn't mean anything to me. Fortune hunter out! Just wait for me on the corner. I have to talk to them. How dare you call Sam Freeman a fortune hunter? He's an environmental research major. Come here, I want to show you something. I want you to look at something here. I've seen your poster, Dad. I've been planning on this for seven years. And I expect a little cooperation from you. I'll do everything I can do to help you, but... Forget Sam, watch his face. Dad! Collins Hedgeworth is the finest, the richest, the most suitable young man in the country. He's a flake. Oh, I think you're exaggerating. I'm not marrying Collins Hedgeworth. I'm marrying Sam Freeman just as soon as we can get to Las Vegas. You do that, and I'll disinherit you. I'll cut off your credit. I'll take away that goddamn sports car of no, yours. No, no, I bought that myself with my own money. <laughs> I'm going to my room. Well, go to your room. Shut down her hot little motor. <laughs> From now on, she's not even going to cross the street without my permission. Your car. I traded with Dad. my daughter, and I want you to find some way to put this Sam Freeman in the slammer for a while. I understand. I don't want the police, and I don't want the news media. It will be done with our usual quiet, confidential finesse. All right, Slinker, let's move on this. Now, we'll need your plane to get to Barstow ahead of them. All right, I'll meet you at the airport. Mm -hmm. 
I can't believe it. I can't believe we're actually doing this. Incredible. Yeah. I'm sorry your parents don't like me better, though. Don't worry. I like you enough for both of them. <laughs> okay, that's it. You want to pull over and fool around a little? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sam. Yeah. Sam. Okay, okay, you're right. I lost my head. Uh, all right. We'll be there in about five hours if we don't have any problems. Sure you don't want to pull up the road? <laughs> <laughs> Collins Hedgeworth calling. Collins. I'm playing an important polo match today. And Paula had indicated that she would like to uh, come by and observe my prowess sometime. Oh, Collins, I am so glad you called. Paula's eloped. She's going to Las Vegas to marry one of her little school friends. She took the Rolls Royce. But she's engaged to me. <laughs> oh, Collins, I can't tell you how much I counted on your relationship with her. California, Radio 10Q. has been abducted. I was in pursuit of her captor, who is en route to Las Vegas. I had a minor accident. I'm in dire need of transportation. Well, we've got... Ah, that'll do fine. Oh, yeah, you've got a fine eye there, boy. He's a runner, too. Bill, my father. Well, Pearl, I don't know if we can let you have the car on that kind of a deal. I'm Collins Hedgeworth. My father is Montgomery Hedgeworth. My grandfather is Elwood Hedgeworth. Collectively, my family is worth $97 million. Well, I don't know. I'll have to check with the manager on this. It, Lieutenant. And if a Hedgeworth borrows a car, I'm sure there must be a very good reason. And I will not tolerate police harassment. Uh, Mrs. Hedgeworth, if you... I'm going after him myself. And you must chat. Speak to my shrink. Yes? Yes?
over my goddamn wheel. I ain't gonna take that shit. I'm calling the police. Q exclusive here for all you squirrely curly Q fans, so turn up your crystal sets. Go ahead, sir. <clears throat> uh, my name is Collins Hedgeworth. My longtime fiance, Paula Powers, has been abducted in her father's vintage 1959 Rolls Royce and is being forced to drive to Las Vegas for some highly immoral purpose. As a result, I am offering a $25,000 reward to anyone who can safely free and protect her until I can arrive. Here we are. Are the police working on this? Absolutely not. Paula has been brainwashed. She's probably been sexually assaulted. I refuse to have her subjected to the ordeal and embarrassment of rape interrogation by the police. That's why I'm appealing to you and your loyal listeners. I am taking it to the streets, Mr. Brown. Can you give us a description of your fiance? She's an... Vision. A lovely vision. Light brown hair. Absolute angel. And the guy who shanghaied her? Wild. Red hair. Burning eyes. Thrusting jaw. There's a primitive barroom look about him. Threatening and definitely dangerous. Well, that's a heart-wrenching tale, man. And uh, we'll do what we can. Well, there you have it. A young man with a problem, and apparently lots of big bucks to help solve it. Whatever it is, it's a 10Q exclusive. So you 25,000 Christmas. I could build us a machine so bad. How bad? That we'd be racing in India in two years. $100 an hour. You set the price. I mean, uh, we got to take this baby for a little test fit anyway, right? Part of our job. All right, contact. Give her down. Sir, I'd like to buy your truck. It's an emergency. Well, if you don't want to sell it, I'll rent it. I'm desperate! So am I, feller. Nobody sees me in this wreck. Yes, $25,000 for the return of my son. So impulsive. 
for the safe return. Please put that message on the air. Okay, Mrs. Hedgeworth. You sure you don't want to do it yourself? Uh, no, no, I haven't time. the nuts are gonna go after a reward like that. Now, now maybe if we just switch. We, we went to Reno or Tahoe or Sam, something. we can't let Collins or, or my father or anybody else intimidate us. Now, we said we were going to Vegas. That's where we should go. What do you think? I think you're pretty stubborn. No, I'm tenacious. Oh. Look out, Vegas. We're coming in. Car 47 in pursuit of Volkswagen Orange, license number YCU799. Driver committed a moving violation and is fleeing south on Florence. Car 47, you are pursuing a 503. A, uh, a, fi a 503? A stolen vehicle. Oh, right, right. A, a 503, right, right. <laughs> Jesus, a 503. <laughs> to Las Vegas in some maroon hot charger with a white roof, and you know how reckless these young people can be. If he's anything like you, lady, he ought to be put away. Don't be facetious. I do, lady. I am Vivian Hedgeworth, and I have just offered a $25,000 reward over channel 10Q for the safe return of my son. Lady, quit cranking the car. You're under arrest. Collins must be saved from himself. Amen. All right, lady, I'm going to recite your rights. Lady, I got to recite your rights! What in the Lord's name are you doing? $25,000. Now, that's a lot of Bibles, baby. Jesus, my vehicle! The upshot of Mrs. Hedgeworth's call is this. There is now a $25,000 reward for Collins Hedgeworth's fiance, as well as a $25,000 reward for Collins Hedgeworth. Now that is 50,000 big ones. And for you folks out there looking for that little pot of gold, the Highway Patrol reports that Collins Hedgeworth is alleged to have stolen a black and yellow Chevy pickup 
and eyewitnesses have stated they have seen him on the road to Victorville. Stay in contact. You're ready, Mr. Slinker. Excellent. All right, Ben. Cast the velvet net. I've just received word that we have Miss Paula Powers on the line. Miss Powers. This is Paula Powers. Am I on the air? Yes, you are. Can you talk? Hell yes, I can talk. And I want everyone to know that I have not been kidnapped, and you couldn't call what Sam and I have done rape. I know what I call it. Yeah, get down! Name Sam? Sam Freeman. And I love him, and that's why we're going to Las Vegas to get married. What about this engagement to Collins Hedgeworth? There is no engagement. My father tried to make me marry him, but I just never felt... Well, I don't find him... Well, Mr. Brown, he's a turkey. She's under hypnosis. I had to call and clear this up. Well, you certainly have shed a new beam of light on the situation, and I personally think it's absolutely barbaric for a girl to be forced into a marriage with a turkey. I mean, can you imagine what the kids would look like? Best of luck to both of you from old Squirrely Curly, and we're going to be rooting for you. Thanks, Curly. Goodbye. Yes, go Hi. home. Just pass the roll. Drop back. Hey, that's the chick, man. That's the chick. Get her to pull over. Hey, one of your wheels is loose. Yeah, and your rear end's starting to shimmy. Hey, you better, you better stop igniting your lug nuts. Come on, will you pull over? What do you think? Glory. <laughs> I got it. I got the Rolls Royce under surveillance. Roger, Eagle One. Eagle One, hereafter, code name for Rolls Royce will be Quarry. Okay. All right, there's a turn off about a mile up here. It's a good one, and then we can start taking side road. I think we ought to stay on 15 and get there just as fast as we can. No, no, we got to get off the main drag here. There's going to be reward hunters up and down the whole thing. Well, we'll get lost if we go out there in the desert. No, we won't. No, I got it right here. Look, look, there's the turn off. Let's try and lose these jokers. Okay. Move it! I got him! I got him! All right! Hang on! Stay with him! Roger, keep me informed. What happened to Barstow, Slinger? Huh? Here's where they are now. This is base one, Rap Velvet Net. Proceed east on Route 66 to Daggett. Further instructions will follow.
you want a drink? Heading up to Route 66. But the Velvet Net will be waiting and bag them right here. See? She's taking my car up that lousy road. What in the hell's wrong with that girl? <laughs> Probably not. No sign of him. He must have had car trouble. Good. I am not in the service of the Lord, but in the service of the Lord. If you doubt my word, just look up, my son. Get your answer from the heavens. side roads now and we got it made. Velvet net is spread.
shut up and stay with the quarry. How's the car? Couldn't be better, man. That's a hell of a set of wheels. Well, we're going mobile. I'll stay in touch. Base one out. Pack the van. Hello? How's everything? You? And the rules? We're both fine. Paula, I'd feel an awful lot better about everything if you just turn around and come back home. Dad? I want you well married. Your mother and I have always had that dream. Well, my dream is marrying Sam Freeman. Well, that's... that's a damn lousy dream. It's a great dream, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk her over. Pull it over, lady. Look, you pull it over, and I'll have the DA take it easy on you. sympathetic calls because you, the public, demanded to know more about those fabulous Vegas bond lovers, I am taking a command flight to the scene of that momentous chase. Somewhere out there on the desert, two young lovers are putting their lives on the line and are defying the world in their bid for togetherness. So stay tuned to 10Q. This is Squirrely Curly going along. Man, El Kio and El Ignitionario. Clark, you crack me up when you talk Mexican. <laughs> hey! Dirty, rotten, underheaded crud! Couldn't wait, could you, Mr. Everhart? Yes, sir! Ah! Ah! Hey! 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 The honeymoon camper brings the total to ten in the last two hours. That grand theft auto on a rather grand scale. It all seems to be somehow connected to the Paula Power Sam Freeman love flight to Vegas. I'm gonna bust this crime spree. I have to go all the way to Las Vegas to do it! Sam Sammy, here we come! 
All right, all right, listen to this. There once was a girl from L.A. who was determined to go all the way. Sam. Uh, to Vegas, all the way to Vegas. Right. Uh, her mother screamed no, her father yelled whoa, but they married the first day of May. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Thank you. And then they rolled in the hay. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just heard it. A sexy rhyme from Miss Paula Powers. Miss Powers, Miss Powers, please tell me, what brought on this sudden case of the hots? Well, I, I guess I, I just love you. <laughs> I love you too. Yeah. Only when you're driving, though. <laughs> How many killed here? Uh, nobody's hurt here, but we need a ride to town. <laughs> Think you got film in your camera? Yeah, sure. Well, I want a picture of this. That's the damnedest wreck I ever saw. People ain't gonna believe this. I'll take one of you, Gene. Take one of me. You boys are welcome to take all the pictures you want. Thank you. Let's try one right here. Yeah, okay. Look this way. Okay. Cock your head a little bit. That's it. Hey, where you going? Very <laughs> carefully. Over at that leader to base one. Yeah, what do you want? We've just acquired a four-wheel drive vehicle and are mobile again. They're mobile again. They're mobile. You're a good bunch of men. We're a good bunch of men. <laughs> I suggest you try gaining time by taking a four-wheel drive job cross country. Roger, base one. We'll give it the old college drive. Rolls Royce or a black and yellow pickup, come on back. How to fly a cottage. This is hot pants. I saw a rig like that running north toward Kelso. That's probably him. I'm headed down to Essex for a little skinny dip party. I'd like to have some fun. <laughs> Bet your buns, hot pants. No, no. Would you just get off the radio, man, and start looking at that road to Kelso? Next time, hot pants, next time. You know, I believe I've seen that girl on television there. What's her name? Paula Powers. Paula Powers, no. Nope. I don't believe I ever heard of her before. <laughs> well, I guess I got my head up my rectum again. <laughs> hmm. There they go. Follow that car. I always love saying that. Harold? I want you to stop a black and yellow Rolls Royce down at the bridge. You hear me? All right, Max, come on now, get out of here. Woo-wee! 25 G's. Oh, you get me out of this godforsaken desert. This is getting a little out of hand. All right, Gary. All right. Now, come on, straighten that wire out there. Come on, boy, move. Come we ain't got all day. I've had it with this guy. I want you to pull over, and I'm going to punch him out. No, I'm not going to pull over so you can punch him out. <laughs> Sweet Lord.
Jesus, Max, if he ain't dead, he's gonna kill it. Her tail's worth $25,000, some crazy rich kid. Go after it! Let's go! Come on, you egg-brained off things! I'm gonna beat you both! We're a good bunch of men! <laughs> Yes, it must be them. Ladies and gentlemen, we have overtaken the Rolls Royce. This could be one of the most electrifying moments in radio history. Paula Bowers and Sam Freeman are directly beneath me at this moment, streaking across the desert wasteland. I'm ahead of them? How did I get ahead of them? Thank you, son. My prayers have been answered. Oh, my God! Lord help you, boy! The black and white car 47 seems to be pursuing Collins Hedsworth in the black and yellow pickup. They are jetting hell-bell directly at the Rolls Royce. The road is blocked. A collision seems inevitable. Your bananas, pull up. I swear! Amen! Let's go, boy. Come on, brother. Let's go. Together with you. We'll build us a whole tabernacle. It's impossible to know what transpired between the two, but the preacher is driving car 47 not back to Los Angeles, but northward to Highway 68. Is it possible they're going in pursuit of Paula Powers? I would guess yes. Almost at 68. Let me have the wheel so we can move this cracker box. Let's go. Eagle One, give me an estimation of the ground speed. Stop over to CB. Uh, well, that's a toughie, Ned. Speed can vary so much. This is Bigley Powers. Will you answer the question? No more than 60 on an average. That's all we wanted to know. Jimmy, I got something hot. I'm gonna go with this. Put me on the air now. Break into the record. Ladies and gentlemen, in a shocking discovery, I have just learned that Paula Powers is the daughter of multi-millionaire gubernatorial candidate Big B Powers. That's true. And that he himself is involved in a plot to stop his daughter from marrying Sam Freeman. He has a chopper in the air, numerous agents in the field that can close in on the Rolls Royce at any moment and wrest young Paula from her lover, thus ending this bizarre odyssey. Now, for you folks at home who'd like to follow the action on your maps, find Highway 68. Now, Paula and Sam are 10 miles north of Sema, headed toward that road. Now, back to the station for more music, cracks, and facts as I stand by on the 10Q Skywatch. Thank you for calling the Curly Q Brown Show. I want to talk to Mr. Brown. Well, Mr. Brown's in the air. I know he's in the air. This is Sam Freeman. Sam Freeman, I'll patch you right in. Sam Freeman, the man of the moment. How you doing, Sam? You're full of crap. You know that, Curly? You make a big deal about wishing us good luck, and then you tell everybody where we are. Sam. I want you to cut it out. Sam, you created this situation. I didn't. But you went to a hell of a lot of trouble to make it a great human interest story, didn't you, Curly? Now you're sitting up there broadcasting to the whole world. Right down here, ladies and gentlemen. Stop the Vegas-bound lovers and hit the $25,000 jackpot. You're just hovering up there like a lousy vulture hoping for a wreck. Well, if you have it, I'm going to report it. 
Because every time you turn around and fart, it's news. You say anything you want, but just don't pinpoint us on the map. I've been in radio a long time, kiddo. And you just don't let something like this go by. It's just too big. We interrupt this broadcast for a special bulletin from Squirrely Curly Q. Brown. Hello again! I've just been in contact with Paula Powers and Sam Freeman, and God bless them, they're doing fine! And incidentally, they're streaking towards Highway 68 and the Nevada border at this very moment. What an ass! They're a little distraught from That's the pressure great, of the Curly, chase, just but... great, Curly, great! Wait just a minute! Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Freeman is leaning out of the Rolls Royce! He's making a friendly gesture at me! I'm waving back! What a sportsman young Sam is! Oh yeah, I got you spotted, Base One. You're approximately, uh, three miles from the junction. It looks close. I think you got a shot at beating them. We are on 68. They're approaching from this side road. We've got them bottled right here. All we have to do is cork it. Quarry is gaining. Kick this tin can in the ass. Kick it! I have cracked the code on another secret transmission. There is a dramatic confrontation brewing out here in this fair and desolate area as that wealthy tyrant and would-be Governor Big B Powers is racing to personally intercept his daughter as she and Sam Freeman emerge from the back roads of the desert on the Highway 68 in his dip and tuck. It is a race to the junction and the stakes are high. Both vehicles are flat out. This is a contest not just between father and daughter, but between the forces of power and oppression on one side and romance and free will on the other. They may be outrunning you. They have got to be stopped. Move in and slow them down. Move in then. That's right. The whirly bird has pulled out of his dive and is playing a veritable game of chicken with those two courageous kids of the Rolls Royce. Make another pass at them. I thought I want results. You hear that, Slinker? I want results. All right. I'm playing the ace. It may be a little messy, but you'll get your results, mister. Slinker. Ned Slinker from Los Angeles. Well, I need help, sir. Ned, you're a nice person. But it bothers me that you only call me when you're in trouble. We've got the momentum now, Sam, and we're going to do it. We're going all the way. I'm going to beat him to Vegas, and I'm going to get married. Then let him look at the scoreboard. <laughs> Aren't you excited? 
Well, beating your old man doesn't make my day, you know what I mean? Well, it would if you knew him like I do. Well, it's a circus, Paula. We got a cockamamie circus on our hands. My client may be the next governor of California. Ned, I'll give you the man. I'm the man in the middle. Keep going! Don't stop! Don't stop! You're a good bunch of men! We're a good bunch of men! <laughs> Sam, why are you dragging your feet? Dragging my feet? I'm headed for the church at 100 miles an hour. You can't call that dragging my feet. I don't like your attitude. Well, what do you expect? Dog tricks? Big B Powers has brought in more manpower under the code name of Vegas Muscle to prevent Paula and Sam from reaching Vegas and ever realizing their dream. Uh, 
Vegas muscle in position, one mile beyond his city limits. I'm just telling you that it was handled all wrong. From the very beginning, this was handled wrong. It couldn't have been handled any other way. Bullshit. That is total bullshit. this or not? Well? Well, I don't think it should be what I want. Or what you want. I just think it should be what, what we want. What's right for us. That's what I've been trying to do. Yeah? Yeah. You took your father's car. You didn't work it out with your ex-fiancé. He was never my fiancé. Well, whatever he was, he turned the whole thing into a carnival. On top of that, you flatly refused to change our destination, even though we got God knows how many nuts out trying to stop us. Now, let me tell you something. That was not us making those decisions. You're really making me mad, Sam. They have made a radical left-hand turn in the town of Henderson and have vanished. Are they planning to marry here instead of Vegas? Reverse your direction, damn it! You watch your trash mouth, boy! Did you ever think that as soon as you get over the excitement of defying your old man and then beating him to Las damn. Vegas? Now, let me just say this. Because this has been bothering me. D did you ever think that, that you might miss being rich? Because let me just tell you something. I couldn't care less about big cars or mansions or, or making a million dollars. I couldn't either. I don't care about those things. Yes, you do. You grew up with those things. You're going to miss those things. It's going to bug you to be poor. Why are you so worried about money and my father? I thought we decided to get married. Now you seem to have changed your mind. Well, hell. We went this far. Let's just go through with it, okay? No. You go on without me. Will you get in the car? Forget it. He really spoiled it for us. Paula, get in this car. No. Not until we make a decision. Now, if you don't have faith in our love, and if you don't think it's strong enough to overcome the obstacles, then we shouldn't bother. The whole thing wasn't worth it. go to Las Vegas and get married? Are you asking me? I'm asking. I do. Let's go then. My car. Come on, you chicken brain. Stay with him. Harold, get on there. It's Harold. Harold, will you get on there? It's time to come the car. You ram the car, and I'll grab her. Charge! Oh, I'm so I the engine out of me. Hang on. Hurry up, you little bastard! 
railroad that road, Roy! Hallelujah! You okay? Sam, you were great. Oh, sweet Jesus, preserve this machine. Oh. We blew the tail feathers right off that smoke in there. Jesus Christ. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. Ice cream? Hey! Great, the six o'clock news. They're all over us. All right, I'm going to knock out the front tires, and you guys grab them. Vegas muscle has blocked off Highway 95 and wait. Poised like a cobra to confront Paula and Sam. What a dilemma for these lovebirds to face. I can't see him. Let us grab her and we'll divvy up the reward with you. Two courageous kids facing overwhelming odds and possible tragedy at every turn. All right, the news truck gets it first. There's no way through there. one give us some air support. Get down there and harass them. Eagle one, I just gave you a direct order. Do you read me? Base one, do you read this? skirts of Las Vegas, they have driven into a funnel. There is no turning back. It's incredible what they've had to endure. Amazing that they've made it this far. Paula and Sam's flight has been attracting nationwide attention. Calls have been coming into 10 q from all over the country. Thousands of them offering prayer, money, help, and much, much sympathy. <laughs> I don't like to be pessimistic, but their dream may be going right down the drain. Due to the extreme danger of this event, remain clear of the north section of the bleachers. Mind the kitty, because we don't want to lose any future Demolition Derby fans now, do we? All right, we're just about ready to go. And... Well, it looks like... It looks like, for the first time in Demolition Derby history, you lucky fans are going to see a Rolls Royce. A classic built with wild Rolls Royce 
destroyed, demolished, and recycled before your very eyes. How do we get out of here? You'll need a tow truck. Yes, he is. Snuff Schultz has done it one more time, folks. Looks like they're here and ready to start. After the rolls. Right there, right there. Go get them, boys. Let's the roll. Now, by God, we got them. Don't scratch the car. Be prepared to perform some sort of simple but tasteful ceremony. 50,000 hallelujahs! <laughs> them all. Okay, lady, back on the bus. Piss off! Big B 
Powers will beat them to the exit, and that would most surely spell defeat for Paula and Sam. I'll grab the girl, you punch out the punk. Beloved, we are gathered here in the small, humble house of God to join you both in holy matrimony. Paid your mother up for no reason. It's penalty. All I want is to find my little... Mrs. Edgeworth, my daughter isn't socially inferior to anyone. You, sir, are an uncouth ass. Well, lady, your ass isn't exactly perfect either. Sir, you just insulted my mother. Your mother asked no. for it. I'm
I'm glad Paula didn't marry him. He's a flake. Oh! 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 Booby! Oh. Booby! Oh. Now, now! Now! Maybe she did get the right guy. I will. I will. Repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Uh, Sam, Paula, I have never done anything like this before in my life, but could I have your autograph? deserving of some fine Las Vegas hospitality, right? Yeah. Well, we want you to have your honeymoon on us. I've got a limousine that's going to take you right to our finest bridal suite. You will accept, won't you? Yeah. Great! Yeah. Sir, could you try and lose this ding dong? At the grand opening of Taco Village. <laughs> America's most lovable couple has turned off the script, but I'm right behind them. Hopefully, we can learn if Paula and Sam perform as well in the bridal chamber as they do behind the wheel of a Rolls Royce. I'm racing to be there for the climax of their climax. Congratulations, sir! Mr. and Mrs. Sam Freeman, I'm out of few words! Yeah, come on, say something for the fans! I made you stars! You wouldn't sniff old Squirrely Curly, would you? Come on, come on! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm passing through a beautiful suburban home with a lovely plate glass window, which has not slowed me down in the least. And as I approach the king size bed, I notice the phone is off the hook. I wonder if it's for me. As we leave this warm, friendly family atmosphere, I'm gaining altitude and loving it. Once again, Curly, you is going aloft! We'll be in our 50th wedding anniversary. Right here. I'm not getting out of the car. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 